for our next news special report. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a storm brewing in the American justice system, and at the center of it all is none other than former President Donald Trump. But this isn't just about Trump. No, this is about our republic, our basic freedoms, and the very principles our nation stands on. As renowned newsman Tucker Carlson puts it, it's a grotesque parody of everything our forefathers envisioned. You want to see what he has to say about it, and believe me, you don't want to miss our final thought on this special report. As we delve into the unfolding narrative, it's important to understand that this isn't just about politics or personal vendettas. It's about the heart and soul of our republic. Our story tonight starts with the renowned and often outspoken Tucker Carlson. In a recent fiery monologue, he's shown a spotlight on what he calls an attack on President Trump that is not so much legal as it is theatrical. In Carlson's eyes, what's happening to Trump isn't a legal procedure. It's more of a show, a grotesque parody of the system our forefathers created, to quote him directly. The former Fox News host doesn't hold back in his critique, going after those he believes are using the system to their advantage. And at the heart of this supposed parody is one name, Arthur Engeron. But is Engeron just a symbol of a bigger issue? A justice system that's been hijacked by those hungry for power and control? Carlson's segment specifically highlights a case where Donald Trump appeared in a New York court due to a civil case brought on him by the state's attorney general, a case so politically charged it's designed to keep him out of the White House. Trump, as Carlson details, is accused of inflating the value of collateral used to secure loans, loans that he's already paid back with interest. To put it bluntly, there's no victim here. The banks assessed the risk, took the loans, made their profit, yet Trump and his children face the possibility of losing everything that they have built. Sounds outrageous? Well, take a closer look with me, folks. Watch. Just this morning, Donald Trump appeared in court in New York in a civil case brought by the state's attorney general that was designed explicitly to keep him out of the White House. That case is part of a larger legal barrage against Trump that so far includes a total of 91 felony counts every one of them politically motivated. But today's civil case is especially absurd. In fact, it's hard to overstate its ridiculousness. In sum, Trump stands accused of inflating the value of collateral used to secure loans, loans that he has already paid back with interest. In other words, there is no injured party in this case. The biggest banks in the world assessed the risk and they made a profit, as they almost always do. Not a single person was defrauded. For this non-crime, Trump and his children are in the process of losing their homes and their businesses. Here's MSNBC's live coverage of the hearing today. And as you watch, pay special attention to the judge in the case, Arthur N. Gorin. And there you see President Trump, uh, the former president, I should say, next to his attorney, and that's Chris Kyes, who we expect to make the opening statements here. And then this, I, judge I guess, is uh, Judge Angoran. There he is, the judge, mugging like he's on stage in a middle school play, grinning, preening for the camera. Arthur and Gorin is thrilled to be on MSNBC. It's nauseating. This is not a legal proceeding. This is a grotesque parody of the system that our forefathers created, the fairest in the world, that in the years since has been seized by power worshipers like Arthur and Gorin. This is a dangerous moment. Without a legitimate legal system, people will no longer follow the law and the country will collapse. This is not about Trump. This is about preserving the United States of America. But Trump is at the center of the story. In that clip, as Tucker rightly pointed out, the absurdity of the situation is glaring. Engeron's behavior, mugging for the cameras during a live proceeding is nothing short of shocking. It's behavior unbecoming of a judge, especially when overseeing such a high-profile case. Carlson's words ring true. This isn't a legal proceeding, but a mockery. As we dissect this, let's take a moment to think about our own paths and habits that help us stay focused on our goals. Just as we've seen in the Trump ordeal, maintaining clarity and focus can be pivotal. A recent study has shown that people who step on a scale regularly are more likely to shed unwanted pounds. It's all about keeping goals front and center but many are looking beyond the scale for extra support. If you're one of them, I have found an incredible alternative using ingredients sourced right from Mother Earth. It aids in weight management, curbs those pesky cravings, and even boosts metabolism. And guess what? This month only, there's a 51% discount 
To grab this deal, simply go to trimwithgary.com and don't miss out. Now back to our story. Carlson's concerns aren't just about Trump. He's raising a flag about the very fabric of our nation being torn apart. If our legal system becomes the playground for the power hungry, what happens to the average Joe? To the principles our republic was built on. Power players like Engeron, if unchecked, could jeopardize the very foundation of our republic. Now, Carlson is just one voice, but he's ringing alarm bells that many are starting to hear. His dedication to upholding the values of our republic is palpable. His claim that this isn't about Trump, but rather about preserving the integrity of the United States forces us to reflect on the bigger picture. What happens when individuals, driven by their own agenda, attempt to manipulate the justice system? Is our republic's foundation robust enough to withstand such blows? As we wrap up tonight's special report, let's think deeply about what all this means for our republic. It's easy to get lost in the politics and personalities, but the stakes are far higher. It's not just about one man or one judge, it's about the principles, the foundations, and the core values that our republic stands upon. The battle may seem distant, but the outcomes will affect each and every one of us. We as a nation must guard against those who seek to manipulate our justice system for their gain. Their integrity of our republic depends on it. Remember, our forefathers crafted a system designed to ensure justice not to serve as a stage for power plays. Let's heed the warning and stand vigilant and protect the very essence of our great nation. Good night, and God bless our republic. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.